Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. It's 5.05 p.m. on August 27, 2024 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 18 degrees outside on a partly cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.6 kilometers, starting by the bus stop of Burrard and Smythe. Then it's will southwest on Burrard, southeast on Nelson, southwest on Granville, and northwest on Davie, ending my trek outside of Ho-Ho's Yummy Food. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at JForcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey you folks, Jerome Forsman here. Just walking along Nelson Street here. We just turned off of Burrard. Over here in downtown Vancouver. And we'll be walking down Nelson for a couple blocks. And over to Granville Street. Here we are at uh, Nelson and Hornby Street. And we'll cross Hornby on Nelson over by the law offices or the law courts you know, both of them <laughs> they're all over here in this beautiful building two clicks on your back down oh Nelly Let's keep walking here. Ahead of us here is a Nelson and Howe Street. And we'll cross Howe on Nelson. One of our local pallet coffee roasters over here at the 980 Howe building. You also got companies like Angelogen in there and uh, BCC. And we'll cross the street here. Crossing Nelson along Howe. And we'll turn on to Nelson again. Just passing a Don Air Drive. There used to be a Babylon, now it's a Don Air Drive. Very interesting. See the change? Do you want to try it sometime in the near future? <laughs> There's a bunch of cuties right there. Anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> Over here we got several different restaurants like Luke Philippe or Taqueria, but this one, this one's the crown gem right here. That's Mean Poutine, they do an awesome job. 
treat them right, give them lots of tips. They do a great job. Highly recommend their Southern Barbecue. Pootsie, that's my favorite. And the one that I haven't tried yet, it's a Mexican one. So I want to try that one out and see what that one tastes like. That's pretty good. Of course, that is poutine, so it's going to be a carb-rich diet. <laughs> you don't want to have that every day, unless you do want to have that every day. <laughs> Your choice. So, we have that once in a while in a blue moon. And the prices are super affordable. For like two people, you get two big boxes of poutine. Now, will fill you up for dinner. Sometimes give you two meals, depending on how much you eat. I'm walking all over the place, so of course I'm going to eat a heck of a lot more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, all for around uh, 12 to $14. And that turns into a mix. Oh, uh, we got an interesting person. <laughs> And of course, unfortunately, we do have some issues here in Vancouver. You can look them up if you want to. But <laughs> generally, all they say to that is, oh, Nelly. <laughs> oh, Nelly. You gotta remember, people are people. Even people who are stuck out on the streets. You gotta treat them with respect. Now, if you don't get respect back, that's a different situation. And this, of course, would be the intersection of uh, Granville and Helmican. And that would be Helmican to the south, and that would take you down into Yale Town. Let's keep a walking along here. Of course, Granville has <laughs> is one of our main retail strips here in the downtown core. This is the bar district, often called the entertainment district. This is where all the bars and the bar restaurants are on Friday or Saturday night. It'll get quite busy here. If you want to see what that looks like? You can go back in our back catalog. We've done several live streams in the summertime this year. Myself and my husband Asif walking around looking at the, the scene here in Vancouver and where the scene is and also showing where the scene isn't where people assume there's a scene and there's no scene at all <laughs> just a quiet street so you can go back and see how busy it is this area right here will be full of people this being one of the many different clubs that are, will open up and on the weekend and come to life. Otherwise, they just look like an old, run-down, shut-down place <laughs> in the meantime. And even this building right here, it's a nice big club in here too. It's going to be rezoned into a hotel, but for now, it's still a club, and there's a logo right there, old T. There's me too. Hello. Harley. It's a little tight over here. Oh, you're a tight run. Keep going. It's good to see people out and about interacting with each other. You know, uh, see that a lot. Once you start living here, that's when you start and you start becoming a local, and people start seeing you regularly. That's really when people will start investing time into you. Um, yeah, a lot of the times here in Vancouver, we do have tourists that will come through, as well as people who are just here for a temporary, longer-term stay, so a few months. 
And of course they want to go out and meet people. And they're great people to meet and develop friendships with and stuff like that. But they're not here long term. So there is an apprehensiveness, apprehensiveness here in Vancouver for locals to really get to know a lot of those people that are just transient here in Vancouver. But, yeah, like I said, once they figure out that you're here to stay and you're not going anywhere, people open their hearts to you. It's good to see a welcoming community. Let's keep walking here. Of course, if you are a tourist or someone who's coming here for a longer term stay, and if you see me out on the street filming or live streaming, feel free to stop and say hi. You can chat for a few minutes if you want. It's always nice to meet people who watch the videos as well as the live streams out in public. Oh, Nelly. And this would be the intersection of Davy and Hornby Street. I'm just gonna drop on in and pick up some food on over here, if it looks good. I haven't tried this place yet, so I'm gonna give it a shot. We head on up here. There's a restaurant right on over here called Twins Chinese Kitchen. Not sure if it's open yet. Not sure if it's open at all. 4.46. And it's a Tuesday. It's supposed to be open. We will be closed August 26th to September 6th. We will reopen on September the 7th. So absolutely not. Okay, fine. Let's head on over. There's another place I want to try out. I'll try that place out again in a little bit. They're just taking a summer break. They apparently work very hard, so I wanted to try their food out. So head on back there on another adventure. Right now, we'll go down the street to a restaurant that's actually called Ho Ho's. Over here in the Davy Village. We'll check that out. It's just up the street here. I'll cross the street first though. And this would be Burrard and Davy, or Davy and Burrard. I know the pages were, yeah, and that's what I was trying to call them out for. Alright, there's a running club right there. You'll see lots of those. And this would be again Burrard and Davy Street. And we'll cross the street here. Gas currently right now is 172.9 at the SO across the street there. I don't drive, so I don't know if that's a good price or not for you folks. I'll let you guys judge that, of course, because it is an international audience. <laughs> and some places yeah, that might be a great price. That's per the liter, not the gallon. Had one of my American co-workers come over here. Never been to Canada before. And uh, wasn't driving or anything like that. And I was down here for work with us and we passed by one of the gas stations. After he came from the airport, he looked at that. He's like, is that, that's not by the gallon, is it? He goes, oh, <laughs> 172 by the gallon. <laughs> 
And he was like, no, that's by the leader. He's like, ah, that makes more sense. Not always good to ask if you don't know. I'm about four liters, a little bit more less than that, like 3.8 liters, will go into a gallon. And gallons are the metric unit used in the States for gasoline, commonly. And we're here in the Davie Village now, that was across Burrard Street. And this is part of the West End. And there's a lot of different restaurants in here, as well as shops for the Rainbow Crosswalk community. I have to use those code words because uh, the algorithm is working to protect people, which is good. But <laughs> even when you're being positive about communities, sometimes you have to use those code words. <laughs> so the algorithm doesn't affect you as well. <laughs> It's a great little community to come to here in the Davy Village. And uh, Asami are here quite frequently, including on the weekends. A lot of different restaurants and shops are in, including this Denny's. We were just in this Denny's just last week. On a late, <laughs> on a late Friday night, <laughs> I turned into an early Saturday morning. I'm drinking coffee and <laughs> having breakfast. <laughs> of course, I had uh, your country fried steak with uh, grits on top or gravy, what it is. It's like a sausage gravy that they put on top of a country fried steak. Oh, so good, so good. So savory, a lot of calories. <laughs> Perfect for soaking up, uh, soaking up uh, alcohol. <laughs> yeah, of course, there's a lot of other restaurants that are also open late. The restaurant I'm going to go to right now, it was not open up late. And I haven't uh, stopped by it in a very long time, so let's go and try it out. and see what it's like. Up ahead of us in a few stores, we're gonna pass Jim Devil Plaza. Jim Devil being one of the local activists here in the queer community, as well as this is where our Rainbow Crosswalks are located. Over here at Davy and Butte Street. Look at the Donair, dude. House of Dosas, this just opened. They're not going to be open today. I believe they're closed today. They'll be open on the weekend, though. It's a Tuesday. It's a bit of a quieter day. Vancouver is tend to spend more of their money on the weekends, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, than they do on the weekdays. And Monday and Tuesday are the days that they tend to spend the least amount. That ass has been working extra hours today and he doesn't want to cook tonight and he'd rather me take a break from cooking. I'm not the greatest cook in the world. <laughs> so he asked me to pick something up, so we'll pick something up. Oh, that's cool. Local artists coming on through. Anyways, folks, here's Ho Ho's. Right here, you can see Ho Ho's yummy food. 
So I'm going to head on in. So anyways, thanks for coming along today. And just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.